Finally, I can go back to my dorm and journal. First day of junior year, and it's already so boring. Um, hi? No, I'm sorry, I don't remember you. From high school? Geez, that feels like forever ago. Um, I'm gonna need more of a description. I've gone through a lot since then, to say the least. Oh, it's you. God, I guess you've also been through a lot since high school. You look so different. Not in a bad way, of course, but the way I remembered you was so expressive. I'm not getting those kinds of vibes from you anymore. <laughs> the look on your face tells me I'm spot on. Am I? I'm sorry. Um, well, hey, I'm always free if you need to talk and don't mind slumming it down with your local goth girl. What am I doing right now? Um, honestly, I was just gonna go back to my room to journal. It's been a super boring day and I don't have any other classes. Uh, sure. I guess right now wouldn't be a bad time to come over. Eager, huh? It must mean you've got a lot you need to get off your chest. Come on. And here we are. Welcome to my safe haven. Kind of. Fuck. I can't let him see that. He'll freak and I'll be in grippy socks for the next week if he reads anything. And he can't know I play guitar. <laughs> He'll know I've got to be at least half depressed. Gotta get him to look at something else so I can move everything out of view. Hey. You still like vinyl records? I have a collection in my closet. It's right there. You should go check it out. Yeah, there. To your left. There you go. Okay, okay, okay. Just put the journal in the drawer. That's normal. Great. Okay, okay, the guitar. Where to put the guitar? Bathroom. Thank the gods I have a single dorm with a bathroom this year. <clears throat> yeah, everything's fine. Just had to put some of my, um, feminine stuff away. I've never had a guy over. Great. Way to let him know you're not getting any and that you're messy. Idiot. Okay, so, um, make yourself comfortable. I'm listening, I promise. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I get it. Um. Hmm.
that's a lot but let's unpack some of it okay though I do want to say that even though I'm a psych major I'm in no way qualified to diagnose you with anything or offer you advice that's to be taken as fact okay it's just a disclaimer I'm not a professional yet good it seems like you're having a lot of problems with your self-identity maybe suffering from a bit of imposter syndrome first I just want to say that that's completely normal especially at our age right now with the pandemic it's really hard to form ourselves as young adults to be the people we want to be before the pandemic young adults formed personalities based on our experiences we're not kids anymore so we aren't solely influenced by other young kids in school around us as much we in college for example form our personalities as we go through the motions of life like if we're on sports teams or in poetry club or drunks or we're partiers or stoners those things form who we are but since the pandemic hit not only have we had to seclude ourselves from people more but the things that we normally do are unsafe. We can't party or go to concerts, play sports, or really do anything social without the risk of getting this virus. That kind of gives us no kind of base for who we want to be. Or better put, no experience to become who we want to be. So... What does that leave us? <laughs> no. Not depressed, necessarily. It can be an outcome, yes, but it leaves us one great big thing. Thanks to the beauty of technology, we have social media. But social media is very deceiving. On TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, whatever you use, people only show what we want to be seen. And let's be honest, we don't want anyone to see the darkest parts of ourselves. At least, most people don't. Especially me. No thanks to the grippy socks. Even celebrities. Do you think they're happy 100% of the time the way they post and make it seem like? Of course not. So, now we're left looking at the best of people, which can be highly exaggerated, thanks to filters or angles or simply just the right opportunity presenting itself, people seem to be way better off than what they actually are. And. As humans who have nothing else to do, and who are trying to become the person we want to be for the rest of our lives, we compare. We compare so much that we take pieces of these other people who have taken pieces of other people who have also taken pieces of other people to form ourselves. It's a never-ending loop. We become these Frankenstein humans who aren't really ourselves, but a culmination of other people who are culminations of other people. Does that make sense? Or do you feel it applies to you? Good. I mean, well, not good. It sucks that you're going through it, but it's good to be getting down to the root of the problem, or at least one of them. <sighs> Alright, so in high school, you were much more modest into yourself. 
you were always humble and expressive and free. Maybe the pressures of the pandemic and of college life have pushed you to be this popular guy who gives more of himself to the public than he'd like to. Because it's received positively, on paper it seems like you're living a good life. But, because you feel like it's not you, it makes you feel guilty. Guilty that you're not appreciative of the life that you're living that other people would kill for. Guilty because you feel you should want this life. But the fact of the matter is, no one personality type is right. Not universally, at least. You are you. And only you know who you want to be and who you're comfortable being. Only you know what personality type for you is right. My advice? Stop trying to be who people want you to be. Start being who you want to be. Without reservations, without guilt, without worry of judgment. Just be you. To your best ability, given the circumstances of this pandemic and life right now. Okay? Okay. Sorry for talking your ear off. I should let you get back to your dorm. We've both got homework, and I'm sure you've got a lot of self-reflecting to do. And it's been a long day. Yeah, of course. Here's my number. You can call me at any time. Great. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Fuck. Why do you do this to yourself, Layla? You just began on your journey of self-acceptance, and here you go trying to help someone as if you're not going through the same thing. As if it didn't destroy you. I just wanted to end. I'm so tired of this. I'm so tired of psychoanalyzing and helping others, but I can't fix myself. I can't even fix myself. I hate this. God, you're so stupid, Layla. You should have known you were going to have a panic attack. Fuck. I'm getting lightheaded. You. Why are you back here? You forgot your backpack? Well, aren't you my saving grace? I'm so sorry. I feel like such a hypocrite. Because I hate who I am too. Because I can't seem to get it right. And it's not just because of social media or other people or life. It's just a chemical imbalance in my brain and I can't do anything about it except take a stupid little pill. How pathetic is that, huh? To know that I have to rely on something unnatural and man-made to make me feel some semblance of normalcy. Oh crap. I'm gonna black out. I'm in bed? When did I get in bed? Is that a dream? Ouch! Nope, not a dream. Wait, what's that behind me? Shit! Oh, it's you. You stood? 
Why didn't you book it? Surely seeing the crazy girl split into pieces and crying on her bathroom floor after giving you advice was enough to scare you away. You know that isn't the real me? What do you know about the real me? had a crush on me throughout high school but I'm not that girl anymore life made me that way huh who's the psych major now huh thank you for catching me and for staying and for not judging me. I owe you, handsome. Yeah, handsome. Though, it could be the hero in you that attracted me. I could still be suffering from a concussion. That's not out of the question. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. You were always handsome. Even back in high school. Though I'm sort of upset we never spoke up about it to each other. Yeah, you're right. There is always now. Can I... Can I ask you for another favor? Could you... Kiss me. That actually makes me feel better. M more? I've never, um, I've never done that before. Will you be gentle? Thank you. No, I'm, I'm sure there's nobody else I'd rather do this with. I just want you to take the pain away. And I'll try to take yours away, too. <laughs> <laughs>